My name is Lecturer Kilaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Loltome, speaking here in uh, Kenya Republic, Embakasi East, Embakasi East Constituency, Embakasi what uh, also called Miango. Yes, um, Lecturer Kilaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Loltome, that's my name. Uh, born in Marsabit County, near the border of Kenya and Ethiopia, and also not very far from the border of uh, Somalia country. Marsabit County, one of the biggest county government of Kenya Republic, among 47 federal states or county government in that case, in the independent states. So uh, I, would love, I would like to speak about the word of God relation to religious political philosophy, particularly in the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1 uh, to 7. Chapter 13, verses 1 to 7. And I'm going to speak about uh, submission to the authorities or submission to the government in a position of authority. I want to read about about uh, God actually, and uh, and also about uh, the government. We want to learn. One of the issues again I would like to touch before even uh, reading that text eh, is about uh, you know Roman eleven chapter twelve verse twenty one. Romans chapter 12, uh, 21, which is verse 21, of course, and uh, the word of God speaks here, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Good deeds, obvious. Before I speak about the government in place of Kenya Republic now, have you ever struggled to express eh, what it means to follow God? Roman can give you uh, the right uh, words to say. This book of Romans can give you the right words to say. If you are struggling uh, to follow God in your life in a state of uh, corruption like Kenya today. Who wrote this book? It was written by Apostle Paul who wrote about the grace of God both from experience in Acts chapter 9 verse 1 to 19. And the education also. It talks about education which is found in the act of the book of Act 22, 23, because you have some illiterate priests in Kenya, including the one who have massacred so many human beings. Uh, this book also will give you about the education needed, uh, you know, in the Bible. And in Second uh, Timothy, chapter 2, 2 also, likewise, chapter 2, verse 2, that means Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 2. And if you read also Acts chapter 22, chapter 22, verse 3, it talks about, you know, education is necessary to you to know the word of God. Paul wrote actually to introduce himself to the believers in Rome and enlist their help in spreading the gospel and to develop and defend the truth of the gospel he has been preaching. And also to encourage the Roman believers to rely solely of God's grace for their salvation we read also Roman 3.24. Why am I say, said actually, uh, lecture clergy, I've taught paramilitary general service unit, an official force equivalent to Kenya Army, all right, in their spiritual warfare tactics and also physical warfare tactics. Here at Utawala, you know, uh, college for 12 years as a Civilian Spiritual Affairs Instructor, Paramilitary General Service College here at Nairobi, Kenya. I've taught them spiritual affairs for 12 years. So uh, that's why I'm called also Lecturer Clergy. And I've also taught Africa Inland Church, Beset Bible College, one of the most prestigious college in Nairobi County government, which is training Protestant African Inland Church colleges, college students four years higher diplomas uh, for many years as well. And also Covenant College of Mission. I've also taught in Narrow County Government, the one of mission is taking both, uh, you know, Islamic studies, all right, all right, Quran studies, okay? And also Quran studies. And also, this is the Quran for those who don't know Quran, the Holy Quran is here, uh, which of course God gave uh, inspiration, revelation to Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, Prophet Muhammad, to deliver the right message also found in this book, Holy Quran. It's a sacred book, equally 
with the Bible here, equally. And the, all prophets are godly prophets, and the word of God is the same. Okay, including even prophet Jeremiah and, uh, and many others. And if you want to prove it, you can, I can even read for you before I go to the government topics. Okay, which I stated in Romans chapter 13 verses 1 to 7. We can also establish the truth that the Quran is also equally the same with the Bible. If you read Quran chapter 3 verses 45 to 48, it is talks about Jesus Christ uh, when he was born and also a preacher. He's a priest, a high priest, obvious, or, or a prophet in that case, Jesus Christ himself. So if you read the Holy Quran, translated in English, chapter 3, verses 45 to 48, when the angel said, O oh Mary, exclamation mark, God gives you glad tidings of the word from him, whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, illustrious in the world, and the heir hereafter, and one who those brought near to God, he will speak to the people in his cradle in a mankind, manhood, and is of the righteous, she said, My Lord, how can I have a child when no man has touched me? Wills, he said, it will be. God create what he wills. If, if he decrees a thing, he says to it, Only be, and it is. And God will teach him the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel. Jesus Christ was actually one of the great teachers. He was a prophet, usually. Okay? And the Bible also likewise said it clearly, that he was born by Virgin Mary. Okay? And uh, if you read it, if you, want to, if you want to establish the truth of that matter, you can get it, actually. Okay? You can get it. In uh, Hebrews, you will see Jesus Christ was a high priest. It is stated clearly. In the book of Hebrews, I can read it for you, if you don't know, okay? Jesus Christ is considered also as the highest, uh, high priest. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 14 uh, to uh, 16, Jesus the great high priest. What do you mean by the priest? It's like a prophet, yes. Jesus the great high priest. That's what the Quran says. Exactly. He is also preaching like any other prophets. Alright? And it said actually in uh, Hebrews 4 14 to uh, 16, therefore, since we have great high priest, none other than Jesus Christ himself, who has gone through the uh, uh, through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. It's not actually the Muslim who is saying Jesus Christ is the priest. The Bible also says, all right? He's a high priest. That's what the Bible says here. So, there's no question. You are also the son of God and I'm the son of God. In uh, John 1, 12. For whoever believes in God, he gives them power to become the son of God. Alright? Anyone. So, angels are also referred as the son of God. Because they are created by God. So, do not get confused. Alright? When you hear even uh, Muslims saying Jesus Christ is a priest. Is a, a prophet. It is stated in the Bible there. So we will uh, read actually that there is no obstacles or temptation that Jesus Christ did not undergo like you and me or not. So who wrote this uh, message? It was actually Paul and Barnabas and Luke or Apollos as possible writers. Nobody knows exactly, but it is uh, considered to be Paul, Apostle Paul, Barnabas, Luke or Apollos as possible writers okay and they have written this message to us today after jesus left in a d we call it anno domini 60 years and 70 years that is where about so remember that the holy quran and the holy bible are equally the word of god 
the same the word of God. All right, I have learned without any question that I have learned these books, both of them. I am the only one in Africa continent who have studied this one. Is actually we call it independent learning, global independent global vision, uh, learning to know God and to make God known or not. I was given privilege by American uh, country, the best country and the most uh, powerful country in the whole world nowadays. They have given me an okay to study Muslim uh, studies. This one is actually Columbia International University. It is here, independent learning. But I did the full time also. Another University of America equally like this one now, which I did it, distance learners, 2002 about Muslims. I've also done uh, full time at one uh, University of America called Vision International University, Ramona, California, from uh, quite a number of years here in Kenya Republic. It was an ablate campus uh, of Limuru campus, uh, okay, Kiambu County Government, and uh, I graduated a full time student. It, it was not an, an, an online; it was a full time here in Kenya. So these are uh, what we start. I studied among many other courses, the whole catalog is concerning just Muslim issues, anthropology, and God, and uh, all about it. What you are seeing now, which is actually marked there, are some of the core courses, like now a study guide, and Islam, uh, this prophet, people's politics, and power by Broswell. All right? All right? These are some of the books you are supposed to study. All right, this is some of them. All right, one of them is one is here. Okay, you will study about uh, this prophet, which is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Peoples about Muslims, politics about Muslim and power of uh, Muslims. So this is just one of the examples, which is also here. It is marked here. Some of the books and some of the core courses you need to study. So. Uh, it is actually, you are, you, are, you are supposed to study so many, the whole of this catalog. It is actually a uh, study guide, okay? But you have also to mark some of the core courses and some of the, uh, you know, he, he highlights like the, the meaning of the Holy Quran and uh, by, you know, uh, by Ali, okay? So there you will learn more about it. This is the study guide. So I'm not, a, you know, I'm not just a fake priest like uh, what is now happening in Kenya, most of the uh, county government. I've studied actually uh, proper theology, systematic theology, and also Islamic equality. I'm the only one given this uh, privilege by America, United States of America, the great nation on planet Earth nowadays, all right, to study both the Quran, the Holy Quran, uh, and the Holy Bible equally. The Holy Quran and uh, the Holy Bible equally. I am the only one given that privilege by American. I am not a fundamentalist, okay, neither a terrorist, but I was given an okay to study both of these religions equally. And they are all right. One God. God is only one. The Creator God is only one. There is no other God in both books. All right? You can even read actually the continuously uh, and learn about it. If you read even Exodus chapter 20, the whole of that sh uh, chapter, you will see God is one. And all the whole commandment of God, you are supposed to follow. And like was Quran, God is one. He has no wife, no children, no brother. He's omnipotent, he's so powerful, omnipresent, present everywhere. And omniscience is knowledgeable more than any, any, any human beings. So remember... Yeah, uh, if you want to study, I've shown you the catalog of uh, independent, uh, you know, uh, Islamic studies. That is Columbia International University. I've given you the catalog. It is here. If you want to study, the better. I'm the only one now in Africa continent, 21st century, who have uh, this, both of these degrees. Uh, and I've studied also Kapsal Bible College for four years. Kenya accredited college at Nandi County Government. So I have uh, studied theology slightly more than eight years in my life. But these books are so voluminous, I will die without even finishing them.
but I'm still struggling and uh, the Holy Spirit is my teacher to know every day and every moment what is there. Alright, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Nobody can finish these books because they are godly books and uh, the secret of God belongs to God. In Deuteronomy 29, 29, there are many things we may not even be disclosed to know by God Almighty. But the little we know, uh, the better we use it wisely. To tell people and also to benefit by our own selves. So I want to talk about the government. Submission to the authority. In Romans 13 verses 1 to 7. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authority. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that existed have uh, been established by God. Consequently, he who rebels against authorities. Rebelling against what God has instituted and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves for the rulers hold no terror for those who do right but uh, for those who do wrong do you want to be free from fear of one in authority then do what is right and uh, he will command you for his god servant to do good but if you do wrong be afraid for it does not bear this word for nothing the sword mark mark the word sword which is normally the president used to vote to take vows eh? in all countries almost be afraid for uh, the, he said actually and be afraid for he does not fear bear this word for nothing he is god's servant an agent of wrath for to bring punishment on the wrongdoers therefore it is necessary to submit to the authorities not only because of, of possible punishment but also because of conscience this is also why you pay taxes for the authorities are God's servant who give their full time to governing. Also, number seven, verse seven, give everyone what you owe him. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect it. To honor, then honor. That is what the Bible says. My, my question, does God support bad government? If now we are supposed to submit to government, this is a conditional statement. All right? Do you say that they want us to, uh, to obey, uh, you know, uh, the government which is actually killing human beings? Alright? We want to know that God rule us. God won't rule us no matter the system of government or the political ideology to govern fairly and with justice. And if the government is not now governing fairly and with justice, then it will not be, it is not uh, supposed to be submitted by the, nobody is supposed to submit to that kind of a government. It's a conditional statement, all right? But for the, you know, untrained priest, they don't know that. But for us who are scholars, of course, we have studied most of us in Kenya, but we have also so many fake priests. It is only the governing government which is governing us fairly and with just terrible justice that is supposed to be submitted by, to be, uh, people need to be submissive to it. But if it is not fairly ruling human beings by providing people with welfare and protecting people's sanctity of life to govern with just terrible justice, people are supposed to protest like what Raylo Morodinga is intending to do on seventh on July seventh seventh. Alright? The coming Friday probably. Alright, I suppose so. I suppose somewhere there. It is actually on mark just the day, which is actually July 7 7, is a protest mass action, which I am now telling also Kenyan to do that. To obey Raila Molo Dinga more than the government. Because now the government is not actually governing us fairly and with just serve justice. To provide us with all necessities of life. It's not protecting even the life. People are killing each other terribly all over the country. Alright? Including priests. And they are still there. And people are still, so many people are, every day are being excavated uh, from, the, uh, from, you know, the, gra the graves, which the man has, a, a very fake priest and trained man called Mackenzie Denke, is a Kamba priest which actually bewitching people with witchcraft and sorcery and confuse them, their minds and kill them eventually. And some of them refusing to eat food. Why do you refuse to eat food? Then you are bewitched, obvious. Like, uh, you know, what even Paul told Galatians in chapter 5. Alright? So, what we want to say here? We want to be, uh, uh, to be ruled by government which, is, which rule actually fairly and with justifiable justice. 
Although God wants to all rulers, rulers, including bad ones, to punish people to pray, like even Pharaoh in the Bible. All right? If you read even about Pharaoh, he was a very terrible man, but he was actually a ruler, which also God uh, allowed him to, to punish a human being that time so that they can draw closer to God. But this one now is not of Kenya Republic, it's not ruling us with a, with a fair, in fairly kind of a manner. All right? No. It is actually denying us our rights. The government, the president is going and uh, ask the World Bank, another nation, to be given money, but he just gives his own, you know, UDA uh, officials, United Democratic Alliance uh, officials. Huh? They are the only one. Okay? And it's the president. They are using it equally. It's only the United Democratic uh, ruling table government the party. It's the only people who are benefiting uh, out of, uh, very few of them. Out of numbering of Kenyan population of 15 million people, we are dying of hunger. Even where I'm living now, I'm speaking in my house, yeah, which I was given by the you know British and also Kenya, obviously. But this house was built by British government in 1956, and it was disposed. And I've just renovated it. I'm speaking inside it. Very nice house. Okay. So and the government now is also not disturbing us. It has already disposed. They are not disturbing us anymore. It is mine now. But they are talking about the government, or particularly more than the Kenya government, British government, because we have these houses which are about uh, about uh, over 2,000 families are living in. If you multiply around 6, 2,000, it's about 14,000 human beings in Nairobi national government, uh, Nairobi city, or county government, the national government, which are living in the British houses. So, uh, God wants rulers no matter what the system of government or the political ideology they have, but they are supposed to govern human beings fairly and with justice. justice. Okay? God may use also human agencies like institutions such as the ballot box to promote justice. But now in an unfair government, it is not promoting justice like Kenya now. Raila Molodinga election was rigged. Alright? And uh, 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 obviously, there's no doubt on that. Raila won election, but uh, he, he was, you know, the, the ballot box was not promoting justice in Kenya. In some cases, also God permitted just have a ruler to seize power. Okay? That means he, he allowed them to, to practice their evil activities to punish people so that they can draw closer to him. So remember also that one, that God can also permit and just have rulers to seize power, like now Kenya, President William Samuel Ruto and his deputy president, both of them are KK, Kalenjin, and Kikuyus. But not Kikuyu, they are all KK, Kalenjin, Kalenjin. Okay? Because even the deputy president, many people believe that he is the son of retired president, the late His uh, Excellency Daniel Aramoy. Regarding Kachagua, he was called Kiprono Kachagua in, boy, in, in Moi family. According to the people now who know him better, the family of Moi also, I know everybody knows. So we are ruled by one Kalenjin uh, sub, uh, sub uh, you know, group because there are seven. But the rest also are dying of hunger, like the rest of other human beings, like Maraquet and Tugen and Pokot and, you know, name them, and many others. So it's only Nandi and Kipsik, which are a little bit uh, benefiting, and uh, Tugen also, but not a lot, because the deputy president does not want to be identified with the uh, Tugen. So uh, remember, God can also give people of that nature to rule us so that uh, very unjust type of rulers for us to draw closer to God. That means... Uh, God wants to establish his own purposes for, for his good uh, way of uh, administration. So God can also allow, he can use human deeds like good or evil to help him accomplish his greater purposes which are always good to him actually. God also allowed wicked Babylonian or Iraqi people to discipline the nation of Judah another time. If you read the book of uh, Abakak uh, chapter 1 verse 6 and 13. He permitted the brutal rulers to conquer his people in hopes that his people will turn again to him. I'm reading from New International Version. Okay, Zondavan. Okay, Zondavan. Uh, Z International Version, Zondavan Publishing House, Grand Rapids, Michigan of United States of America. This Bible is giving you the word of God, which comes from the Lord God mouth, and it will give you knowledge and understanding in Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 so get it right that the message i'm giving you is from god i'm just uh you know uh, speaking as a mouthpiece of god otherwise i'm a human being 100 percent i'm just a priest 
called uh, Statement Bishop Kenya Michael Otome. Remember also, those, does God use evil to do good? Yes, I said it. He permitted also brutal rulers like, uh, you know, that one of uh, Iraq, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, to conquer people that time uh, in the Bible. If you read also Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 6 and 13, them so that the people will turn to God in repentance heart. So remember that uh, disobedient uh, issues, uh, this uh, disobedience issues come from Satan, but also God can also use evils uh, like those who are now to allow people to punish others, which you think is evil, but God is also as, as another intent or intention so that uh, people may repent. Should we not resist operation? We have to resist. That's what the Bible says in Luke 6, 29 to 30. Should we not resist operation? We need to resist an uh, unfairly government, which is uh, unjustifiable, uh, to resist it with all... Uh, that's what Dr. Luke told uh, people of his time. When government intrudes into God's realm of morality and religions and also corruption, believers must obey God rather than men. Act 5.29 also and Daniel 3.6. When he was told to worship idol, he refused. So why could Paul, uh, you know, you have to remember that uh, also there are times also some Christian also just succumb uh, without any complaint to die like Paul uh, during the Emperor Nero of Rome. He executed him in Roman 13.4 also. Uh, you read that he was also a humble man and he died like, like, likewise like that. But God also wants us to protest. Okay, if you come and kill someone, he has to protect himself. Nehemiah 4.9 4, And James 4.17 Whoever knows what is right and doesn't do, it is wrong. You need to raise up your voices. Okay, if you see a house falling, you have to tell people inside to go out. Okay, in Ezekiel 33 verses 6 to 9. So uh, we need to uh, resist the bad government. So to conclude this matter, let me read Luke 6 to 29 verses 30. Luke 6, chapter 6. We need to resist bad government. Alright? And uh, that is not seen at all. In uh, Luke 6 verses 29 to 30, it read like this. Alright? Uh, it read like this. If someone strikes you on one cheek, turn him to the other. If someone takes your cloak, do not stop it from you. Give whoever who asks you, and if he takes what he belongs to you, do not demand it back. What does this one say? How does God show kindness to the ungrateful no no ungrateful people if now you are to someone to uh, strike you? Uh, should you agree on someone to... This is just humility. It is not a kind of a physical kind of someone coming and kill you or slap you and you leave it. This, is, this text is talking about humility for those who don't know the Bible. Should we not resist operation in Luke 6, 29? In this context, Jesus was talking primarily about religious intolerance. When we are persecuted because of righteousness, we should not strike back. That's what this text means. Matthew 5, chapter 5, chapter, chapter 5, verses 10 to 12, you read about that. The early believers went peaceful to jail when they were arrested for preaching about Christ. He was referring about that one. At other times, they fled in order to avoid the persecution. So that's what the, the inter interpretation of this word, of this verse. But we never see armed Resistance from the New Testament church. In fact, when Jesus was arrested, Peter was told to put his word away. In John 18, verses 10 to 11. On the other hand, Christian with conviction about right and wrong will not stay idly, standing by, blindly, to injustice against humanity. Like now, Raila Molo Dinga, Holy Anger. Alright? And Jesus Christ also Holy Anger at times in the Bible. When he found people not actually using, using, misusing God's uh, place of worship, he, stri he strike them out, okay, using his own physical hands. All right? So we have to raise our voices of reason
to resist op uh, yani oppressive government all right remember that clearly that does god support bad government yes it does but we need to resist it in roman 13 verse 1 to 7 so my word today may all human beings living in kenya republic be you or whichever race color be white or black whichever religion whichever tribe let us join hand in rail or molo dinga on uh, june on Ju uh, july 7 coming month uh 7 which we call it 7 7 saba saba day for him now to resist this government together with us including me myself i will be joining them in prayer and in action if they want me also to be there i will i bishop kenya michael otome because of this and just a kind of a unfair ruling of president Ruto government to unseat him to go to Sugoi and to go to Karen home together with uh, his uh, deputy president Rikati Kachagwa. All these Kalenjin you have to go home and allow us, other people to, to rule us like Raila Molodinga for the remaining 48 months, which is 12 times, uh, you know, times four years. It is just 48 months remaining. And I will take it over together with my president called His Excellency. Nixon Wanyonyi Gugubo Jeremiah from Bo, born from Bungoma. I was deputizing in 2022. I was also deputy president. Hopeful. Last year. But we are told after we are cleared by a registered political party, a very wonderful girl of Kenya, an old girl somehow, but middle age, very nice lady. Registrar of political parties of Kenya Republic, Honorable Anand Deritu, and Honorable also Chepukati. They have cleared us. But uh, our president retired 